Hello garden lovers. Today we are doing a garden tour. We haven't done one since this time last year and we have so much to share. I love growing food and I love growing beauty. I am blown away by this amazing creation. The creativity, the incredible colors. Gardening is my therapy. And I am grateful to God for this amazing creation and the blessing to be able to grow our own food. We are growing an edible landscape on our half acre space. So that is just too much to cover in one video. So we will do a two part garden tour. This is part one, the main garden area. And we are constantly planting something, constantly trying new varieties of food to grow. So if you love growing food, then hit the subscribe button. We always have so much to share, new varieties, do-it-yourself garden ideas, and how to grow food in Southern California. In this first four by eight raised bed, we have a lot going on. We have this beautiful big beef trellising up this arch such a great producing plant. In part two, in another part of the garden, we've got big beefs growing and they're absolutely huge and ready to eat. We have one ripening. It'll be our first slicer of the season. I love growing new varieties of tomatoes each year and I love growing our favorites because a lot of times with the new varieties, you don't know how they're gonna do or if they're even going to be tasty. But it's so fun growing all of these creative tomatoes. I just can't resist some of the names and the pictures. So I'm always grabbing new varieties to grow. This is the Atomic Grape. We grew these last year. They're so beautiful and they are tasty. Back there, we have lots of overgrown kohlrabi. I'll circle around. Grasshoppers are just attacking it. So we designed this bed for the tomatoes to grow down the center. And then on the sunny side, we grow varieties that don't mind some heat. And then on the shade side, we're growing varieties that do better in a partial shade environment. So you could see lots and lots of kale on the shady side of the tomatoes and lots of heat tolerant lettuce growing under the canopy of the leaves from the kale plant and the tomato plants. And in the spirit of trying to keep our videos as short as possible, I'm going to speed through this garden tour. Here are lots of atomic grapes. They're so cute. Back here we have some blue beauties. Very excited to try our first black Russians. They are gorgeous and rich in anthocyanins. Then we have some striped Germans. Once they ripen, I'll do a harvest video. So hit the subscribe button if you're interested in these different varieties. Striped German is a nice large slicer. More blue beauties. This is an interesting shaped tomato. These are just gorgeous. And a super favorite, 
Cherokee Purple. Lots of delicious Cherokee Purple on this plant. And we're growing this variety all over our edible landscape. Here we have some Asian greens. I'll be sharing the different varieties of Asian greens we grow in an upcoming video. We got some Asian greens growing down there as well. They're all very young. This beautiful, beautiful purple jalapeno. And now we're back to the kohlrabi gone wild. I'm just gonna get one more shot of these black Russians. Wow, incredible. So you can see here, the kohlrabi is getting eaten, munched on like crazy. We have grasshoppers everywhere. They're pretty cute when they're small. They're like the size of a dime, bright green, but then they get huge and scary but we have butterfly nets staged all over the property. Makes it really easy to catch the grasshoppers and feed them to the chicks. Get in there. So we're getting ready to harvest these kohlrabi greens. And then we'll plant some more peppers all along the sunny side of this tomato bed. We could never have too many peppers. Hey, buddy. You having a good day? Over here is our pepper bed. This entire bed was supposed to be green chilies only. And somehow, I guess my labeling messed up a bit because we have some poblanos and we even had a bell sneak in here but the majority of them are all Anaheim green chilies as I mentioned in all of our pepper and chili videos we love to roast them and freeze them for green chili dishes throughout the year And it's hard to see because of the sun, but it's already time for our first harvest. And as I mentioned in our last video, how we keep our pepper and chili plants healthy and common problems. One of the main problems we experience is grubs. So you can see here, this plant is dying. It's actually dead. And under the soil, the grubs are just eating the roots. This plant probably has almost no root system at this point. And we're battling these grubs a couple of ways. We used to dig up the soil and remove the grubs, but we don't want to disturb the life in the soil any longer. Plus it took hours as a nightmare. So now we are battling them with this Grub and Soil Pest Exterminator. They're beneficial nematodes. I got this from Green Thumb Nursery. And you can see here the pests that they are successful in killing. And I just ordered this online at Green Thumb Nursery. And there's also another way that we're battling them. And we're gonna be sharing all that in a future video on the pests that we experience in Southern California and how we are successful in battling them. Even though we lost this plant, you can see here we have a whole bed of healthy green chili plants. So we're doing pretty good, much better than we used to in this battle against the grubs. It's too sunny to see all of these green chilies. Let me see if I could <clears throat> come around here and get a better shot. If not, it will come back here when the sun starts setting. Show you how beautiful these plants are doing. This plant has 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it has eight. Ah, it's just too hard to see. All right, on to a shadier part of the garden. In this four by eight bed, we have the beautiful patio snacker. We shared this variety in our video, seven handy tips in growing cucumbers. It's a perfect container cucumber. It grows in a compact space. You can see here how small it is and it's already given us five cucumbers and then we have two on the vine. <clears throat> so again, perfect for containers. And here we have more beautiful tomatoes. Same setup as the other bed. We have kale and lettuce on the shady side of the tomato bed. And on the sunny side, we have some Swiss chard, baby Swiss chard just starting out. This tomato variety is a steakhouse. Here we have Mountain Magic, great variety of tomato to grow. And then next to it is a brandy wine. And my favorite, Ford Hook Swiss Chard. Look at the size of this leaf. Excellent for lettuce wraps. All right, on the other side of this bed, on the shady side, We have more heat tolerant lettuce growing. We're always succession planting our greens. Got a Tasmanian chocolate. Seems to be stunted. I'm gonna get this guy harvested and then stop him from fruiting until the plant gets better established. And, oh, what is that I see? Let me see if I could get in there. A lot of these guys are like the size of a dime. And they're just going around. Oh yeah, there's two. Oh boy. They're not a good snack for the chicks yet. They're so small. There's one. They're so cute when they're this big. And there's the other one, adorable. They're just in here snacking away on the greens. Oh, oh, here's another one. Oh, look at this guy, he's so camouflaged. He's just hanging out until I leave and he's gonna go eat up more of our food. Super tiny. All right, on to another part of the garden. Of course, we have onions growing everywhere. These guys are ready to harvest. Here's a beautiful dahlia. I don't see more blossoms. We had a blossom a few weeks ago. So gorgeous. We have dahlias growing in another part of the garden. Over here, this dead plant is actually a poppy. We're harvesting seeds for next year. Jet smells either the possum or the rats. <laughs> I know, buddy. <clears throat> Here we have a steakhouse. This guy's just starting to <clears throat> produce tomatoes. Big 
Back here we have Thai basil, my favorite. We have a Thai basil plant that's outside of our slider. It's over five feet tall. It's a small tree now. And it smells amazing when we come out into the backyard. Over here is where we grow greens for the girls. See, we have some collards. Got some Malabar spinach. We've been harvesting this purple cabbage. They love purple cabbage leaves. Back here is a beautiful purple basil variety, Red Freddy. I'm gonna plant some in the beds in the shady area. They like shade better. This area gets quite a bit of sun. And we got a lot going on in this whiskey barrel. Here we have jalapenos, lots of cilantro. We're always growing cilantro all over our edible landscape. Dahlias. And back here, and I hope so much that we get some, it's a black magic cosmo. We had a few growing and they've been taken out by I think slugs. But gosh, they're so incredibly beautiful from Baker Creek. Hopefully we'll get some of these beautiful flowers this year. More dahlias. It's early in the season, so we'll probably do another garden update and there's gonna be lots of beautiful dahlias already blooming. More tree collards for the chicks. Got some Malabar spinach starting out. Some more tomato plants. The red Malabar is vining all through this trellis, giving us some beautiful flowers and some seeds. And we are finally getting some fruit off of our weeping Santa Rosa plum. So this will be the first year that we get to taste these beautiful plums. Lots of tree collards growing under the weeping plum. You can see that they've been ravaged by pests, but this is the chick's food, so they don't mind. And whenever we have random dead branches laying around, it's for a purpose. <laughs> right here is cilantro. You can see that it was very tall. I think it was about a four foot tall cilantro area in the raised bed. We just lay it down in different areas, knock off the seeds, and we try this in many different areas to see where they like growing best. So we'll see if the cilantro loves growing under this weeping plum during the hot summer months. Over here we have some potatoes just starting out in this whiskey barrel. We have another area where the potatoes are ready to harvest. So succession planting our potatoes. Hi buddy. Do you smell the possum? And we're doing a very poor job of thinning out our fruit. This tree is an apple tree with four different varieties of apples on it. It's doing amazing. We have had to prop up the branch and I really need to make time to thin the fruit out. Otherwise we're gonna lose some branches. They're naturally thinning out and dropping, but not enough. And we're leaving these apples on the ground for the possum. <laughs> we have a possum living here and he loves apples. 
Here is our grasshopper net. It's very effective. And the best way I've found to manage all of these different areas we're growing food is with this dry erase board because I forget stuff pretty quick. And this is mostly reminders and the fertilizing and feeding that we need to keep up to make sure that the plants stay healthy. Once the month's up, I just do a picture, print it out, and then I have it recorded. And here is a four by four raised bed. And we have a lot going on in here also. We have lots and lots of burpee bib going into seed. So we'll be saving thousands, if not 10,000 seeds from this lettuce variety. Very excited. It's one of my favorites. We've got baby beets growing in there. We've got the chili day or bowls. We've got some purple broccoli in seed. So we'll be saving the seeds from this variety. It's very beautiful. We'll have a video on that in the near future. Well, actually probably in the fall. We've got my favorite Ford hook Swiss chard in seed. Be saving lots of those. Lots of the Apache purple bunching onions. Here is Keepsake. It's a large red onion with long storage capabilities. They're not quite ready yet. We keep our mint in containers because it just grows too wild. Here is another patio snacker growing in that container. And here are the potatoes ready to harvest. Let's see what we got going on in here. Ah, oh, I should have came in here and added some soil. This guy's popping up, that potato. Oh yeah, look at that. I love potatoes. I don't think anybody loves potatoes more than me. I do have that Scotch-Irish blood. So we'll get those harvested today. Hey, Betty. And Betty is standing on the cilantro. <laughs> we got lots of cilantro just growing wild there. We're always growing cilantro in many, many different areas in the garden. The turmeric has been popping up, looking beautiful. And here are tomatillos, lots of tomatillo plants, cucumbers trellising up the invisible trellis and the ladder trellis. And we let the strawberries crawl around and go wild. The birds get lots of strawberries and we get some too, but we have a whole strawberry bed just for us. Here are some leeks, some German thyme. Here's my favorite cucumber, the Tanya. And here is a vertical garden wall that my husband designed. The strawberries really love growing in it. So I'm gonna replace out some of those herbs with strawberries. I love growing corn. It's just me and my husband. We don't eat a lot of corn, but we love it every now and then. And this year we are growing 
I'll grab the C packet information. This natural sweet by Johnny Seeds. The description sounded amazing. It's an extra sweet corn, organic. So excited to try this variety out. They're super healthy, doing great. And here is a Dahlia bloom. <clears throat> These, this is the first one off of this dahlia plant. So unique. So we've got lots of dahlias getting ready to bloom. I love these flowers. And in this bed that's covered with this cool shade tent, we have our purple cabbages growing we don't cover them, they get devoured by pests. Got some garlic in there, and of course some greens. This is the oaky leaf, loose leaf lettuce variety. Beautiful sunflowers. We don't have a bloom yet. Looks like it's getting ready to start. And more sweet corn at the end of the pepper bed. And we have this delicious, beautiful Kellogg's breakfast climbing up this arch trellis. This tomato plant did pretty poor at the beginning of the season when we had that heat wave. It was dropping blossoms like crazy. But fruit finally set in and we've got lots and lots of delicious tomatoes growing. Looking forward to a turkey bacon avocado sandwich with these delicious slicers. All right, now that the sun is going down, it's much easier to see all the green chilies. This plant is loaded up. We have a nice harvest in a few days. Go back to that one that was too hard to see earlier this morning. We're gonna have some delicious green chilies this year. My husband is so talented. I got this rain gauge as a gift from my dad and he made this beautiful backing. We'll have lots of his wood creations available on our website once we get that up and running. Here are some cantaloupe don't know if there's a cantaloupe in this group yet, but in the other section of our garden, we have some cantaloupe starting. This huge tree collard went into seed. I'm gonna have thousands of tree collard seeds. They're ready to harvest. And if anybody wants some, let me know Pop a message in the comments and I'll send you out some free tree colored seeds. This guy got about six feet tall. It's covered in aphids right now, but it's been wonderful and super delicious. And now we're starting to get in another section of our garden. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Hey buddy, what do you smell? Do you smell a possum? So I'll wrap it up with this beautiful container watermelon and cucumber. These guys are so happy. They're loving it in here. They're growing well together. We'll see how the fruit goes. Let's see, any blossoms yet? I think we're just starting to get some watermelon blossoms. 
All right, that's it for now. For part two, hit the subscribe button. We'll be sharing that very soon. We'll be going through the rest of our edible garden. This area is a sitting area by the pool and we're growing lots of food in here also. All right, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy your week and enjoy your garden. 